A top story this afternoon, the paper brandished by former finance minister Pravin Gordon as the reason for his sacking was bogus. The declaration comes from none other than the Minister of State Security, David Mahlobo, who has called the claims of an intelligence report as false. Former Finance Minister Pravin Gordon had claimed an intelligence report was used by President Jacob Zuma to ax him. Minister Mahlobo has now challenged Gordon not only to produce the report, but also disclose its authors to the public. Is there an intelligence report? Well, I will not speak about an intelligence report when we have not actually made a reference ourselves to an intelligence report. The President has not made an intelligence report. Those who say they have an intelligence report, let them put it on the table. I attended the press uh, briefing where uh, the former Minister of Finance, Mr. Pravin Gordon, raised the document and said, uh, this is the intelligence report that had me fired. Mm. Uh, this one could have been written by a child. What report was he referring to? Because Mr. Solima Paila says he saw the report and he would go to court to support any notion uh, relating to, to the intelligence report. So what report did Mr. Pravin Gordon raise as the intelligence report? Well, unfortunately, I was not part of the press briefing. My only difficulty is how, as uh, those of us who have a duty to inform and educate society, how if I was part of that uh, press briefing, I would have actually have requested a copy of the report. Because if it is being displayed, it means there is a confidence to show the report. Secondly, I would have actually have asked a question to say, where did you get the report? This is a difficulty in how these issues that when we want people to start to be accountable, People speak about their report, they don't give a copy of the report, they don't actually even say where they got the particular report. But as government, let's respect the processes that are already underway. The matter is in the courts right now, and the matter is with the Office of the Inspector General. Mm -hmm. And we should be in a position to be able to allow those particular processes to actually help. But fortunately or unfortunately, I never sat in that confidential meeting. I've not been given the report. Whenever we actually got that report, because and it's given to the Inspector General, mm -hmm. we should be able to say whether it's an intelligence report or not. Significantly, Pravin Gordon was not the only one to allude to the report that seemingly does not exist. ANC Secretary General Gwede Mantashe and SACP Second Deputy General Secretary Soli Mabaila also made references to the report. In fact, the Democratic Alliance went to court to force President Jacob Zuma to produce this report. But the person who everyone accuses of having access to the report has never made any public mentions of it. President Jacob Zuma has in fact now asked the Democratic Alliance to produce a report they refer to during the court proceedings. But this is the so-called intelligence report. This is the so-called intelligence report which said that amongst others the two of us and the Director General are involved in this massive conspiracy to undermine the economy of this country. And if you read this, this is absolute nonsense. This is not the basis upon which you fire inverted commas or release from their responsibilities, which is a more, more, more polite way, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, of saying it, a Minister of Finance and a Deputy Minister of Finance. So yes, we all had it and it's circulating quite widely in the country at the moment. 